What's that? Oh, it's just a shadow. What is up, you wonderful people? Um, I just want to do a little life update, you know? I feel like these are important. My last video was pros and cons of daily vlogging. Since I'm not daily vlogging, I just feel like, I don't know, what happened over the last three months I want to remember. I at least want to remember it. You know what I'm saying? This video is sponsored by Squarespace. One of the biggest things is Amber and I just undertook a massive reflooring project in our house. So we used to have carpet. Uh, don't don't get me wrong, the carpet served us well, but it was it has been time for that floor to go for quite some time. We installed a vinyl plank floor and um, it was intense. So many mistakes were made, uh, so many mistakes were corrected. We ended up doing our bathroom, which is like at the start of, of it. So we had to break back into the floor in order to do that, which was not easy. At first we thought maybe we could do it in a day, then like more realistically, we're like maybe two days, maybe two or three days. Then we got started uh, in the midst of it, found a leak in my bathroom. That was like a two day side quest. It ended up taking in total. I mean, it's still not completely done. Actually, I need to caulk the quarter round uh, by the stairs. But um, in total, it took, I think, nine days. I think it I think I calculated it. It took somewhere between 60 and 70 hours to uh, put that floor down. But we absolutely love it. Before that, way before that, but I don't think I've like really made a video about this yet. We got a dog. We got my buddy. We got my buddy Milo. He's absolutely incredible and I love him. And I'm so glad that we found him or he found us or however it happened. Like, uh, yeah, wow. Um, walking him, being with him, saying good night to him, saying good morning to him. He's just like, he's fantastic. I'm listening to this book right now about like communication between do dogs and people and, and reading body language, that sort of thing. Like dog body language and, and how good dogs are at reading human body language, which is absolutely crazy. It's called At the Other End, at the other end of the Leash or something like that. Fantastic book, but owning a dog, you just like learn so much about yourself as a human being, I think, which I don't think, I don't know, maybe that's something that dog people say. I'm, I'm always, I've always been a dog person. In fact, the reason I never got a dog was because I don't want to have to lose a dog. I don't want to have to deal with the pain of when your dog isn't alive anymore. Even thinking about it right now is making me sad, but um, that's no way to live my life. You know, that's no way to live. Like. You don't want to just try to, you don't want to say no to good things just because you know that those good things will, will be hard to, to not have, you know, it's just not, you just can't, you just can't do that. You got to weigh that, you got to weigh, you got to weigh the cost, I guess, for your own self. But for me, I'm so glad that my kids wanted a dog so bad and now we got him. He's a, he's a wonder, that Milo, he is a wonder. Quick word about the sponsor of the video, Squarespace, with the new Fluid Engine from Squarespace, making the website of your dreams has never been easier. You start out with this professionally designed template you don't need to know how to code, already made for you. And then you can tweak it using this brand new UI, drag and drop, very easy to use. Your website is gonna work on both desktop and mobile, which is absolutely crucial. You can schedule appointments through your site, offer private sessions, coaching calls, workshops. And then when you're ready to make some tweaks and improvements, the analytics suite inside Squarespace is second to none. If you wanna try it out, go to squarespace.com slash Cody Warner. And then when you're ready to buy, use the code Cody Warner to get 10% off your first purchase of a domain or website. Website. It is summer now. We just went to Hershey Park. There is a minor league baseball game that happens every year that uh, if you go to it at the Senator Stadium in City Island, Harrisburg, you get a, a free Hershey Park ticket. So we have these Hershey Park tickets. We get them every year. You have to use them by the end of June. And we like basically just ran out of time to use these tickets. So we went on the second hottest day, I think, of the summer. But it was fantastic. Was there for so long. I think we were there from 11 to 7. Wore my glasses, got a bunch of videos of uh, Avery and Finley on different rides and stuff. Went to the water park. So fun. Spent so much money on food. They just, they just love charging major dollars for food over there at Hershey Park. But yeah, had an absolute blast. It's it's fun. It's really become like a yearly ritual thing for us. And uh, so crazy to see the girls continue to grow up and like different rides and like more rides. And Finley and I went on this coaster called Wildcat's Revenge. So when I was growing up, it was just the Wildcat, super shaky, bumpy, wooden ride. Um, now it's a steel slash wooden ride not as shaky and bumpy, but so intense. And Finley went on it with me. We were in the first car, second seat, first car. I was looking over her like, 
are you okay? She was smiling. She was fine. Like she was enjoying it, but we got off and I was like, oh my goodness, sweetie, I'm so proud of you. It was, it was absolutely crazy. Um, would highly recommend if you go to Hershey Park. Business wise, you know, stuff is going good. Continuing to delve into the Amazon influencer stuff. I really like that because it feels like passive recurring, like building something that's going to continue to make money, which is awesome. Have two main, two or three main major freelance clients, um, which is good. Still trying to grow the YouTube channel, making ads and things for other clients like as stuff comes along. A couple months back, I did a set of a lot. I don't know, like it was a lot, 360 videos or something for a car dealership that has a bunch of different branches um, down south of Harrisburg. And that was really fun just to like have a, a local client again and, and go and and may have to just pump out a bunch of videos um, every week, go and shoot them and that sort of thing. So yeah, work is good. Always still trying to grow, always still trying to do better, to build things that uh, are big things and that really help people, like really help, really help a lot of people who are interested in the same stuff that I'm in. So still trying to do like so much more than what I am currently doing, which is, I don't know, it's always a little bit of a crazy feeling. Started on Vivance for ADHD, maybe like six months ago now, maybe eight months ago. That's been great. Have slowly been increasing the, the dosage on that with my doctor, um, but definitely the best, for me, the best medication that I have ever tried to help manage some of the negative components of uh, ADHD. And for me with Vyvanse, like it doesn't, I don't feel like it takes away any of the positive aspects of ADHD. Because as you know, I am a big believer personally in the positive aspects of ADHD. So uh, yeah, that's been, that's been absolutely fantastic. Still a struggle. It doesn't take away ADHD or take away the negative parts of ADHD. It just it basically just makes it like some amount of percentage points easier to manage those negative components. Still been working out like crazy, just, I mean, not like crazy, <laughs> but been working out four days a week. Love it, love those guys, love that community and um, you know, starting the day off like that. I absolutely love that. Been playing so much, as much pickleball as possible. Honestly, like not even that much. I play once a week, basically. Uh, if you have not tried pickleball and you're anything like me, you you like anything that I like, I would highly recommend you try pickleball. Like it's just, ah, it is just so good. The community aspect of it even, you can just go to a court, as long as it's an open play court, put your paddle on a rack, start playing with a bunch of people that you don't know. Like you don't even need a foursome to go and play uh, doubles pickleball. You can just go find a court that plays open play and play with people, awesome. Um, so I've been doing that and love it. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all the updates I wanna give. Would love to hear how you're doing in the comments. Drop a comment, would love to, t would love to, would love to see you down there. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for being here.